finding everything you need, my friend? Yep. Okay, excellent. Mo Amera is the assistant floor manager at Cole Hardware in San Francisco. Let me know if you guys need any help down there. Today, he's facing typical customer service challenges. I think we used to carry it, but it may have been discontinued. What I could do is, let me check another store, because they may have some inventory there. You want to hang on a second? Okay, thanks. A customer is looking for an electric drill, but it's at one of his other stores. It turns out that our store over on Polk, they've got two of them in stock. He's counting on IT to help him find the item. All right, what I'll do is I'll give him a call and I'll tell him to hold it for you. All right? Hey, thanks. Technology is at the heart of operations for this small business, but it wasn't always that way. In the early 80s, Rick Karp, the owner of Cole Hardware, took over the business from his father, Dave Karp, who founded the original hardware store in 1959. I was looking for a hardware store, and a fellow in a plumbing wholesale house called me up and said, Dave, there's a store on Cole Street that I think you and your wife, Margie, can make a go at. My son Rick started when he was 12 years old, and he never left. But his son wanted to modernize the hardware store. Just these two for you? Yeah. Adding technology to help organize the business. The business has changed tremendously. I mean, at that time, my dad was uh, running the store as a one-person band, if you will. And, and at what point did it stop working well? I think it stopped working well when his little kid came into the business and said, I don't want to live like this. <laughs> Since taking over, Carp has implemented a number of tech solutions to meet his business needs, ones that weren't available in the 60s. And what, what kind of finishes you want on that? Keeping track of inventory was the biggest challenge. Nothing, everything's 48. So they started implementing software to help catalog thousands of items across the supply chain. We have probably about 45,000 different items in the store here. And just to manage the inventory alone without a computer system would be sort of a nightmare. Today, the inventory system has helped the business optimize and grow from just one store to four throughout the city of San Francisco. One of the ways Cole Hardware is able to keep track of glue, sealant, and duct tape across all four stores is by using these handheld scanners. Well, you gotta break old habits. Robin Miller is Cole Hardware's IT manager. The employees use these, they walk around the store with them, they scan out locations. We also do cycle counting with them to keep our inventory counts accurate for inventory valuation. And the other thing they can do with them is when they move merchandise around, put where the home, the location code of the merchandise is. All right, can I get a uh, $20 meter card up front? It's gonna be New technologies have helped Cole Hardware reach profitability and continue to grow. His investment on IT, between $50,000 to $100,000 annually. There you go. Have a good day. We look at it totally from an opportunity perspective and how it can help us grow our business, not really as an expense. So uh, I don't track it that way, <laughs> but we do spend. <laughs> Carp's latest IT spend is on analytics, which helps him understand how the store is performing day by day. So this screen here is one that I look at every day. It shows us on the top what all four stores did in sales yesterday mm -hmm. compared to the same retail day last year. And then this is the same thing, but a month to date comparison and a year to date comparison. And it's just a nice snapshot of the health of the business, if you will, in terms of what's coming in the front door. Carp doesn't have grand ambitions to take on Home Depot. It's exactly the opposite. Thank you very much. No desire to uh, be a, a replica of a big chain like that. I think our niche is San Francisco specific, and whether we'll grow or not is a big question mark. But we have a wonderful management group within our business that uh, is ready to take on challenges. In the end, his goal? To be community driven and small business focused. Thank you. For BNET, I'm Sumi Das.